it is a good practice to dedicate a one folder for a one data set. Whenever we start working on a new data set, it should be saved in a new folder. So for this purpose, whenever we trans, uh, transfer the data into the R or import the data, we have to told the R program where our data set is residing. So for this purpose, we have to change uh, the folder and we can use the command in the menu, Windows menu that file change directory. So if we use that menu, then we will get the new windows and we can provide the, the location of the folder to the R program. So apart from this, R program is an excellent calculator and it has a collection of a variety of functions that are used in the mathematics and arithmetics. And this R program follows the standard procedures that is it first calculate the power and the square root values and then it will calculate the sub, uh, multiplication and division and in the last addition and subtraction. So if we want to use that program it calculate all the functions. For example if we want to do some addition and subtraction it will use the operators operators positive and negative signs. For example, if we want to add two numbers 9 plus 5, then it will at once give us the answer 14. Similarly, if we want to use the subtraction option, then again if we want to subtract 9 from 5 from the 9, then we will get the answer 4. Similarly, we can use the multiplication option by using the operator asterisk. And if we use two numbers here, 4 and 6, and if we use the asterisk in between the two numbers, it means we are going to multiply 4 with 6 and the answer will be 24. Similarly, Division can also be done by using the option of uh, operator of slash and if we want to divide 16 by 14 or we can use any number and in this case the answer will be 4. And in the case of uh, exponentiation uh, the operator use is hat and if we use 2 hat 2 means 2 raised to power 2 and the answer will be 4. And similarly, the square root, we can use the option SQRT and in the parenthesis, we can write any two numbers, any number. So, in this case, the for square root, SQRT 4 means 4 square root and the answer will be 2. So, the R program can be used as a calculator also. So, in addition to arithmetic functions, all sort of other mathematical functions are available and the most important is the logarithm and also the exponentiation. So for the logarithms are calculated using the command log and then two parentheses. So if we want to calculate the log of 4 then it will calculate the answer 1.3. So the log command gives natural logarithm base of 2.7 if we want to calculate the logarithm of base 10 and it can be calculated by using the function log 10 and similarly if we want to calculate the logarithm to the base 2 then the command log 2 and then two parentheses and which number will be written so if command exponential can be used to calculate the exponential function and this is exp and then two parentheses. So if we want to calculate the exponential of the number 2 then the answer will be 7.389056. Similarly we can test the equality of two objects that can be done by using the operator 2 
equal to signs and the result is a logical expression either true or false for example 2 is equal to 2 and the this is true so we will get the answer true so other operators can also be used like greater than sign we have we know that if we want to calculate two numbers it will tell us the one number is greater than other less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to and not equal to so other possible operators are we have discussed we can use these operators to calculate or we can tell either the statement is true or false for example we can use here 2 is less than 3 so this is true so we will get the answer true so but if we use the other uh, function 2 is greater than 3 then obviously this is false and we will get the answer false so moreover decimal can be reported then are reported in the output therefore the number of decimals in the output can limit it this can be accomplished by rounding the already acquired numbers to a certain number of decimals for example if we can write the command round exponential 2 and digits 2 it means that we will get the two digits after the decimal so the exponential 2 we will get the answer 7.39 if we will not write the digit 2 then we will get the more digits after the decimal